All right, so you see I'm blocking it along here and I'm using a 320 uh, longboard paper and I'm gonna be blocking in and sanding this whole job down by hand. No DA. I'll hit it with a block and then I'll run around it with a uh, soft pad with 320 or 400 on it just to make sure there's no lines from the blocks. So no DA, all blocking by hand. And uh, that's gonna ensure that we're still laser straight. So you guys know we already slick sanded it, primed it, and now we're gonna block it for the final sand. And it's all cut in, and then we'll be shooting it. So just wanted to show you this stage of me getting it ready for paint. So you guys know we primed it with the P30 black. And uh, that's the last stage after I had went ahead and slick sanded some of the doors to get them straighter. Did a little putty work on it and then hit it with the uh, 2K on it. So I'm just blocking along, but I wanted to show you this part of it. That way you guys know what I did. I hit it with the 320 block and then by hand went around all the edges, make sure it's good. And you can see all the primer still on there and see what I was telling you guys about the guide coat. See how this is shiny? And then look how it gets when it sands, that P30. So it's really a nice, nice primer and it's very durable and it holds up like you wouldn't believe. So just wanted to show you a little bit of this part of it and then we're gonna be shooting this thing. All right, welcome back everyone. And today is the day of shooting the Cutlass. And I'm excited, I'm up early. I had this thing ready, staged to go, and uh, we're gonna be shooting this one. So I'm gonna do my best for you guys to film it, but I gotta be focused on this job because this isn't an easy job. You guys know it's a true candy from House of Colors with the brandy wine, and I'll be walking this one out. So here we go. Today's the big day to shoot the car, and we got a lot of videos ahead of this one of getting to this stage. So if you're new to the channel, Go ahead and check out some of the uh, the earlier videos of this car from start to where we're at now and catch up on those videos. But today's the day we shoot it. Let's do it. So we got this car all wiped down with the uh, Prepsol, the wax and grease, the waterborne. We use the microfibers and it's all tacked. So we're getting ready to seal it. And we're using that new Iwata sealer gun with the 1-4 uh, in it. So we're hoping to lay down a real nice flat coat. That way we start off with a solid foundation for this candy. Because we want it as flat as we can. Because this candy is not going to be a real off the gun, you know, showroom finish. We're most likely going to be flow coating this car because I'm more focused on getting this candy even than I am slicking it out. So let's go ahead and get this thing sealed up. I got a brand new head on it. You guys know I have that brand new sealer gun. And now I got a brand new 3M head. So we're hoping to keep this thing as clean as possible. But it's all sealed up real nice. Look at that sheen on that. What a beautiful sealer. Once again, you guys know I love it. Look how nice of an eggshell that leaves. So let's move on to the base coat because this candy is the one that's going to be the one that takes a lot of time and one we got to go slow on because we don't want any problems. So I switched over to a different mask. I, I need to get as flexible as I can. So I'm going to a uh, 
a face shield kind of mask instead of my hood so that way I can move around this car better. So let's get into the base coat. coats of base on it and two drop coats and we checked it with the light to make sure that you're covered I'm gonna let this tack up a minute and then we'll be moving into the candy and this candy is mixed two one to one and it's a really nice house of colors brandy wine so look how nice this thing laid out all smooth no blotches nice and covered and uh, just setting up here now that way we can do the candy so we're knocking on wood we're, we're trying to do everything we can to make sure that we uh get this one to come out nice because once you get to this stage of the candy there's no turning back now you can't fix nothing because this stuff stays wet the entire time from here on out on this job so anybody that knows these jobs knows what kind of a pain this is but that's why they charge a lot to do them because it's a real uh labor of love really there's only a few guys that really want to do this kind of stuff and it's because they love doing what they do so let's go ahead and uh let this flash off and we'll be candy in it and we're using the dv1 with the c1 on it so let's go ahead and uh, start candy in this thing So we got one coat of the candy on and like I told you before I'm going real light I'm not going crazy with it so make sure you give it enough time in between coats I'm gonna give this about 25 minutes because it's a little humid out today even though I got the heat I want to give it enough time in between coats before I start putting it on because each coat of candy you'll put on a little bit more wetter to try to get a flatter finish but this one's not bad for the first coat I'm feeling pretty good with that so far we just gotta let it set up and then we'll be coming in for uh, round two. So hang in there and uh, hopefully by the time we're done, we got a nice, even, nice looking candy job.
So we let that set up. We put another coat on, as you can see. We walked it out. We put it on a little bit wetter. Each coat you'll put a little bit wetter on because you don't have to worry about blotching it as much. You just have to worry about making sure you don't build up too much on the edges and get a sag. Because if it sags, it's over with. So take your time. It's coming out nice. And uh, check it out. That color's coming alive already. And like I said, we're not worried about the finish right now. We're worried about getting this even. And then we'll worry about the finish after this is already evened out. So don't worry about how it looks now. Worry about how it looks at the end when you're doing a candy. But it's looking good so far. I'm gonna put a couple more coats on. I'm not sure I'm gonna show you guys me doing any more of the candy part, but once I get it all done, I'll bring you back in before we clear it. So that's all four coats of the candy and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm gonna let this set up and I'm gonna hit it with three coats of clear. And I'm not sure that I'm gonna even need to flow coat this job. I think it's gonna be good enough. If not, we will, but I'm thinking three coats of clear on this thing should flatten out real nice and there'll be no need to build up all that extra clear because it's already gonna be flat enough. So we'll see what happens at the end. If we need to, we will, you guys know that, but if there's no need to put more and more clear on something, if there's no need for it, because this is a clear, that candy is an actual clear too, so if you can get it on there nice and even and you get enough build with the uh, clear coat over the top of it, you're, you're good to go. So my older candies that I did, I never flow coated them, they weren't necessary, but we'll see what happens. I want a real nice job, so if we have to, we will, but so far so good. Nice and even, it's dark, I put four coats and uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this set up a minute and we'll be clearing it. But look how nice that color looks. It's deep and it's gonna look beautiful when I put the clear on it, so let's clear it. so good it's coming out beautiful and we're definitely not gonna have to flow coat this thing once I put one more coat of clear on this thing it's gonna be beautiful so sometimes putting too much can actually make it look worse but they do look nice flow coated but if you lay them out smooth you really don't have to flow coat them so 
We're gonna put one more coat of clear on this thing and then check it out, all finished up. But so far, I'm real happy. And uh, I guess saying that little prayer this morning helped me out. So came out really nice. It's coming out really nice and clean. For this amount of spraying going on in here, this thing's very, very clean. So I'm, I'm ecstatic about the job. The color looks beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, let's put this final coat of clear on it and check this thing out. clean nice no blotches no runs no nothing so there's a couple pieces of dirt in it and that could be expected because i've been in this booth now for almost five hours so check it out all said and done <laughs> 